and that lets you save the look okay. here. True form life. Green look on the <laughs> Welcome to Exploring Mind and Body with Drew Tadia. Drew is an expert in nutrition, fitness, lifestyle, and more. And he wants to help you live a healthier, longer, and more active life. Now here's your host, Drew Tadia. All right, welcome to another edition of Exploring Mind and Body. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for tuning in and being a part of our True Form Life community. Now, I am super excited today because this is another edition we're sharing with you from our D&D Morning Show. Now, I'm a little extra excited because we got a better mic. These little tools kind of excite me <laughs> because that just means we can bring you better quality. So we put together this microphone or we bought this microphone and hooked it up to the camera so we can do things like this. So we can give you better quality audio when we're doing video. So some of you might know that we, Dorothy and I do the D&D morning show for our private membership group every Monday morning. This is also a paid subscription that you can pay for. It's only, it's less than five bucks a month. Just something that to help us out on the back end of all the things that takes to put together, like buy new equipment, like this microphone, for example. So if you want more details, you can go to trueformlife.com slash D&D morning show. That's going to take you to more details. But what we're doing here is just opening this up to you so you have an idea of what we do each week for our members. If you're interested in our monthly membership group or if you're interested in our in waking up every Monday morning to Dorothy and I. So with this morning show, what we do is go over a fun fact about Dorothy and myself, which is quite entertaining. <laughs> and then we have our main topic. In this case, it's carbs. Then we go to a recipe. We talk about a, a recipe that we put together. Usually, again, that goes in our monthly membership group and our meal planning for those customers and clients that want us to meal plan for them. And then we end off with a quote. And we feel that this is how morning show should be positive and happy and energizing. So this is what we've done for you. And again, I just want to open this up to you to give you guys a, an idea of what that's like in case you're interested in joining us on a regular basis. This show is brought to you by Complete Truth Protein. So Complete Truth Protein is a true form product. We designed it. It's made from quinoa and hemp hearts. And that's whole food. It's, it's ground into a powder. It's a flour. You can use it as gluten-free baking. And you can also it works also really well with uh, smoothies, for example. So it energizes your smoothies. Now, our other product has maca, stevia, uh, excuse me, I'm drawing a blank here, uh, quinoa and hemp hearts as well, or hemp seeds. So that's just four ingredients. So one product has two. The other product has four and it's a, a nice way to make your smoothie into a meal and to energize your day. That's the first thing people say that's, that's they can't believe how much energy they have from using Complete Truth Protein. So if you want more details, head over to CompleteTruthProtein.com and we can set you up there. Other than that, this is the show we're going to let it ride. I hope the audio is much better. That's our main goal here is to bring you better quality. And then I'll wrap it up at the end and I'll, uh, I'll see you then. So sit back and enjoy we got all that coming up on... This is Exploring Mind and Body. Naturally improve your lifestyle one show at a time with your host, Drew Tadia. Welcome to a new edition of the D&D Morning Show. We're back at the park. On location. On location. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. We're doing another morning show outside. And I'm kind of excited we got a little microphone going on there. Shotgun mic. So we're hoping that that's going to improve our quality because we're always want to get better for you guys. We want to give you better content, better quality, quality, a better experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> True form way. True form life, a better experience. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got on we the got roster? A, on the roster. <laughs> We've got, of course, the fun fact coming at you. Today we're going to talk about some carbs. And then we got a recipe and a quote, as always. So take it away. What's our fun fact? Fun fact is the bus. Oh, we love the bus. We talked about the bus before. But yeah. it's like an adventure. Yeah. We're like, because usually we ride ride a bike, go for runs, walk. And we're like, let's go let's go on the bus. Yeah. So we jump on the bus and we like check the bus schedule. I feel like we're in the like, 1970s. <laughs> Like check the bus schedule, see what time it comes, and then we walk down to the bus, and then you stand there. 
<laughs> if you wait. wait for the bus. <laughs> it's like a whole like experience taking the bus. It's like a whole afternoon almost. <laughs> but we love taking the bus. And it's funny because when Drew and I first started traveling together, I was all about the, the cabs and in the quick transportation renting cars and then this one time I forget where we were traveling to we landed at the airport and I'm like okay let's go in the taxi line and Drew's like how about we take the bus and I probably gave him like the death glare like they had like a mini, a mini meltdown in public <laughs> and I was like what are you freaking out about because we went to the the counter and asked him how's the cheap like how to get to downtown from the airport he's like well, the taxi and this and that, and he's like, and the bus is a dollar. <laughs> and of course, Drew's like, yeah, a dollar, okay. let's take the bus. And I thought he's just being like cheapo, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it was actually a cool experience. Yeah. We got to see different parts of the city, and uh, hopefully that mic is kicking in real well. Because <laughs> someone some has a jackhammer behind us. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Don't um, they know we're filming? <laughs> so, but... Yeah, we got to see different parts of the city, you meet different people, and it was a cool experience. Very cool, yeah. So now we take the bus all the time. All the time, all the time. Okay. We love the bus. It's kind of fun. I like, get excited. Let's go take the bus! Many, t many times there's nobody even on the bus. I know. It's like just us. Everyone's taking like cabs or Ubers or... And it's a dollar! Yeah, dollar. It's can't, a dollar. Can't really go wrong there. <laughs> Alright, that was our fun fact. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> And, oh, carbs. We're going to talk about carbs today. Lots of people are scared of carbs. Do you know there's all of these diets out there that's low carb, no carb, skip the carbs. And I don't really understand why. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess maybe you can help me out, Drew. Like, I don't understand that, that why. Yeah, I don't know why either. I mean, I suppose it's it, go, it goes back to like, well, they, I think the Atkins diet was the first that yeah. one that's like, cut your carbs, you'll live healthier and drop a bunch of weight. But, and maybe that's the why, right? Because if you cut out carbs altogether, then you'll drop a bunch of weight. But is it healthy? <laughs> yeah, well, you know that from when you did some oh, competition yeah. training or Dorothy right. did her fitness competitions. And her, to get her to, car, like, carb depletion was a way to get her to drop weight in a short amount that's of time. But it wasn't healthy. Like, I wasn't healthier. No, it didn't. <laughs> it's not. Like, of course, that's... We teach a healthy way of lifestyle. A lot of people just want quick results. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I mean, that's an unhealthy way to get quick results. Like, it's not sustainable. You're not going to... It's very difficult to live a lifestyle without carbs. Mm -hmm. And, of course, there's going to be the opposite side of people being like, Oh, I haven't had carbs for years, and I feel great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, of course, this is our perspective. And... And we come from the standpoint of having a well-balanced diet. So that's going to be protein, carbs, fats, and what well, category is always the plants. That <laughs> doesn't seem to have a category. <laughs> so, we should make a new category. <laughs> so it should be a well-balanced of each macronutrient that you need to live mm -hmm. a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But getting back to carbs for a second... I believe that if, or maybe we believe, maybe you want in on this, Drew, <laughs> but you need to be well educated on what is a healthy carb. And if we stay away from white stuff, so white bread, white rice, what else is white? There's going to be more white stuff. White, white, well, white potatoes. White potatoes was the, is another one. If we one. stay away from that white stuff and go for healthier carbs, um, brown rice, um, quinoa, like the grains, the lentils, sweet the potatoes. beans, the sweet potatoes, that's the good stuff. Right. Yeah, the carbs usually tend to be healthier when they're darker. Mm, so good these, point. so these are slow digesting carbs or complex carbs, and they give you energy for an extended period of time. Many times because there's fiber in them, and that fiber helps slow digestion. Mm -hmm. So if you get a, a quick carb, for example, like a white bread, it processes very quickly. It actually processes like a sugar. So you're, it, you're actually storing that. You're storing that body fat, but it goes by so quickly that we don't have that sustained energy. Mm -hmm. And bread's okay once in a while. You know, a nice, like, sprouted green bread, like a high quality. Bread's tricky because it's hard to find a good quality bread. But look for cleaner ingredients and have it once in a while. It's fine. Yeah. Bre yeah. Bread usually tends to be a lower quality type of product, but you can find breads that are more homemade types of bread, yeah. smaller bakeries, bake shops that have uh, less ingredients in the product and that's, that's cleaner and healthier for you. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Moderation. <laughs> so that's mm -hmm. our standpoint with carbs that you do need them. Yes. Unfortunately, we're usually scared of something. Yeah. We're scared One, of some. I think you said in the past show once, Drew, that usually people are obsessed with one of the macros yeah, or, like, yeah, or scared of fear one of them or fear one of them and it's yeah. not like two or three of them it's not like I can't have carbs and fats <laughs> it's like just I can't have carbs and uh, we're just we just come from the standpoint that carbs give you energy they those do. complex carbs are the things that many times like we avoid them like at night or, or for example like we can't have carbs because I was told that we're not supposed to have carbs but we don't pay attention, like you were saying, Dorothy, to, to the types of carbs that we're consuming. So if you have a better quality carbohydrate, if you have a, a cleaner carbohydrate, then you don't have to worry about that being stored as body fat because those good, clean ingredients, nutrients, our body burns off as energy. Yeah, your body's going to use it. Right. Yeah. All right, so what kind of recipe do we have? Well, it's funny that we are talking about carbs and macronutrients because our recipe today is a monster salad, a true form monster salad. Drew and I collaborated, I guess, <laughs> or came up with this, this recipe together because a lot of people say, well, salads don't fill me up. Right? And Drew and I said, there's got to be a way that you can have a salad that has all the nutrients of a meal. Right. So enter the monster salad. And we didn't call it monster just because of its gigantic size, but we called it a monster salad because we created it in a way that it does contain all the macronutrients so that you have enough nutrients to fuel yourself as you would in a full meal. Yeah. So well balanced meal. Well balanced meal. So what do we got in the in the monster salad, Drew? Well, we usually start off with the the leafy greens, the dark greens. Dark greens. <laughs> so we have like kale, spinach. Those are important. We usually start off with that. You could mm -hmm. put in some lettuce, maybe some arugula, some lighter type of leaves for different flavors. Mm -hmm. Maybe even some for a filler a bit. But mm -hmm. you get most of your nutrients from the dark ones, like yeah. kale and spinach, for yeah. example. And then one of your favorites is throw a little bit of hummus in there. Oh yes, yes. But when we start off with the leafy greens, then we add some veggies, some cucumbers, some peppers, and some tomatoes. And then we sauce the salad usually, right? right? So chop all those up, all those, all those, what you just mentioned. All those veggies. Yeah. Chop them up, throw them in with your greens, and then sauce the salad with, uh, well, choose the saucer. You, Drew always puts the sauce on the salad. So how do you do that, Drew? Well, I usually find a nice, we usually use a, a nice, um, vinegar uh, mm. vinegar it could be like uh, balsamic vinegar mm. it could be a red wine vinegar and then we use a a really nice uh, oil yes. like olive oil avocado oil mm. uh, different types of oil better quality and then I use um, garlic garlic fresh so, garlic so fresh garlic chop that up as tiny as you can I spend extra time I think that's a little hidden ingredient <laughs> spend a little extra time on that garlic throw that in there with some uh, Himalayan salt and pepper Mm -hmm. and mix that all together and that's it very simple very easy stay away from those toxic types of um salad dressings thank you yeah and then this next part is where the monster part comes in this is where we're going to get all our all our macronutrients so we add uh some eggs on top some boiled eggs some quinoa on top for a slow digesting carbohydrate and the eggs as a protein we, I like to add hummus on there, and hummus would be a nice carb as well because it's made from, um, what are those beans? Garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans, chickpeas. Or chickpeas. Chickpeas. <laughs> and we add some healthy fats, some avocados, and some nuts, some walnuts on top. Um, am I missing anything else? Not, well, We've sometimes proteins, beans, fats. like black beans. Oh, black beans, yeah. So, mm. but, but this is almost like a... Some, I compare everything to a stir fry for some reason, yeah. but it's almost like a stir fry because you have all these different ingredients that you're kind of putting together and they all have different flavors. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we put like capers on there. Oh yeah, Drew loves his capers. Enjoy cap capers. Like, I'm an olive fan. I know yeah, that olives. a lot of people don't love them, but I love olives. I like to stay with Kalamata olives. Mm -hmm. Kalamata? Ka Kalamata? I'm not sure if we say that correctly. That's how we say it. Kalamata olives? Fantastic. Yeah, we found that um, these olives Olives, there isn't the like in the canned black olives you got to be really careful because there is some preservatives some toxins in there but we found the best ingredients in the Kalamata olives in the in the jar so yeah that's one reason we chose them we like to choose Kalamata olives 
Side note. <laughs> so you basically you mix all that together and you have this huge giant monster salad yeah. that is delicious. Delicious. Yeah. Delicious. And then you'll be amazed at how it fills you up as well. Oh, it's very filling. You won't be having a salad and then an hour later being like, okay, what else? <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> It'll fuel you for a few hours. Fuel ya. Did I say fuel ya? Did you say fuel ya? I meant to say fuel ya. <laughs> Enunciate. <laughs> All right, so we have a quote. It, uh, this quote actually came from a presentation Drew and I were at recently about essential oils. And it was talking, this little presentation we were at was talking about emotional healing from, from essential oils. But anyway, the quote that came up or what, something I took away from that presentation was the presenter says, you must let go of negative emotions before you can attract the positive ones. And that really stuck with me, made me think about that, right? It's so true. If we hold on to all of the negative things, there is not gonna be room for us to attract the positive emotions. So we gotta free up some space and give room so for those positive ones to flow into our lives. Yeah, it kinda makes me think about those positive people in your life. So we have those negative people in our mm. lives that like drag us down, that make us feel horrible, that are always negative. Like, they're like a negative person on your shoulder. We've all, we all have them. Yeah. It could be like family, friends, people that have been in our lives for years. And without, as challenging as it is, without removing them, we don't have space to bring in more positive people that shine light on your yes, lives. So yes. it's very important to surround yourself with that positivity. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, guys. There you go. Have it. That's going to wrap it up <laughs> for this edition of The Morning Show. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the group. See you guys. See ya. All right, that's going to wrap things up for this edition of Exploring Mind and Body. Again, that was the D&D &D Morning Show. I hope you enjoyed. That's the full show. If you go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash trueformlife, Dorothy and I released these snippets, so about three, two to three minutes, sometimes four minutes snippets, which it came, which comes from the full show. So if you want the full show, you can subscribe at trueformlife.com slash D and D Morning Show, and that's something that we offer you guys. And we also offer that, I suppose, that's included in our monthly membership. If you want more details, head over to monthlymembership.com slash trueformlife. And then this show was brought to you by Complete Truth Protein. So head over to completetruthprotein.com for more details as to how we use Complete Truth Protein in our diets from our lifestyle to improving through smoothies and uh, just a better way to energize your body and supplement with whole foods. I'm going to leave you with that. Once again, thank you so much for being here. That's it. That's all I got. I'm out of here. As always, I'm your host, Drew Taddy. In health and fitness, for a better world. Thanks for listening. You've been listening to Exploring Mind and Body with True Form Life's Drew Tadia, fitness expert. To find out more about the show, Drew Tadia, or to listen to past shows, visit exploringmindandbody.com.